And the last talk, uh, today's session uh, will be presented by Igor Krasnov about light scalars from PS191 experiment. Okay, please go ahead. Yeah, <clears throat> well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for uh, convenience for uh, giving me a chance to talk. And uh, well, my, my co-authors, uh, uh, which I have wrote this article. Uh, my talk is Constraints on Light Scholars. And uh, the interesting part about this talk is about that, well, uh, yeah, it's just do it. Yeah, uh, that uh, uh, these constraints on light scholars uh, are, are considered from the PS191 uh, uh, experiment, which uh, was an experiment dedicated to the sterile neutrino search, another uh, new physics uh, candidate uh, <clears throat> that uh, is studied. Uh, uh, but uh, in our case, we uh, have seen that, uh, well, uh, of the uh, PS191 gave a negative result, uh, meaning that we didn't find uh, any signal events. And uh, this gave us an opportunity to consider that actually uh, the uh, light scanners uh, would give a similar uh, a signal events uh, should uh, they, uh, be present. And uh, as such, the negative results uh, can be uh, well, applied to them as well. Uh, and um, light scholars uh, are pretty interesting uh, extension of the standard model. Uh, it is uh, determined by uh, simply two parameters, its mass and mixing angel, uh, angle. And uh, so, um, is it, uh, can be tested in many uh, uh, well, running and planned experiments. It is well a hot topic, and it can be used for a, a really a, a big number of uh, well, extensions, such as uh, the just extension of a Higgs center, uh, Higgs sector or the messenger to a dark matter or well, inflation, or inflation uh, many candidates. So. The PS191 experiment uh, ran into the 19th uh, in the CERN uh, 90s. Uh, and uh, so uh, it was a uh, well, relatively low energy, it, uh, 19 G uh, pro proton beam uh, that stroke the target and uh, later uh, uh, the produced mesons, uh, primarily pions and kaons, uh, traveled to a decay tunnel uh, in which they could decay into, well, uh, exotic uh, uh, particles. Uh, for example, the sterile neutrinos they studied or the uh, light scholars uh, we are interested in. Uh, after which there was a well, uh, iron shooting, uh, just soil, and then there was a detector at a substantial uh, distance of oh, <clears throat> 128 meters from the target. Uh, so uh, our general uh, idea is pretty the same with the neutrino. Uh, the, since uh, these uh, counts, pions are too light uh, for us, uh, uh, will decay into the uh, light scars or star neutrons, and uh, these uh, particles can uh, freely travel through the soil and uh, anything uh, because of their weakly interacting uh, with uh, well, matter, <clears throat> which then can, uh, have a possibility to decay inside the uh, detector and uh, thus be. Uh, detected. Uh, uh, so uh, <clears throat> the uh, main fa factors, of course, are the number of uh, protons on target, in which, uh, in this case, it was a 10 uh, to the uh, power of 19, and how many uh, counts are produced, how m many uh, our <clears throat> light scars are produced in this count decays, and well, uh, what, what fraction, what geometrical fraction of uh, these uh, 
uh, scholars uh, flight towards the detector and how possible it is for these scholars to decay. So, uh, first we'll talk about the comb production. Uh, for this, we used the Giant 4 simulation. Uh, there was an interesting uh, point of uh, which a physical list to use because uh, it is, uh, as it uh, seemed, uh, not a trivial uh, uh, thought because uh, it is rather low energy for uh, these, these uh, simulations. And uh, well, we found a uh, pretty interesting uh, uh, combination which allowed us to uh, you know, get realistic results. Uh, after this, we well we can see that uh, we simulated the soil with sand, well, just so it wasn't uh, simply air, and you can see that um, mainly the uh, crowns decay inside the uh, decay, uh, tar uh, decay tunnel, but uh, also, well, uh, the soil or the uh, st iron shielding uh, effectively stops them. So, uh, what about the light scale production itself? Uh, the formulas for these uh, uh, well, uh, channels of production are well known. It is a simple, well, one loop diagram, and uh, I will not uh, dwell on it uh, much, uh, but uh, just uh, to uh, reinforce the notion that uh, this branching is uh, 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 takes the mixing angle uh, as a uh, theta to the power of two. Uh, so we studied to light scar production and uh, find out that uh, indeed the most uh, uh, contributions uh, are come uh, from the light scars that are produced uh, in the uh, decay tunnel. And uh, there is a, a pretty large amount of uh, well, uh, sc uh, scholars that are produced in uh, beam dump and soil, but uh, this one uh, um, thing that we should uh, mention about them, these scholars are predominantly uh, lose their momentum by sc uh, scattering, and uh, so uh, they are practically stopped. Uh, while the uh, neutral accounts and uh, uh, negative charge accounts uh, simply uh, are uh, <clears throat> captured by nuclei and those uh, are not relevant for our study. Uh, so, uh, uh, why it is uh, important because, well, here I uh, show you the geometrical factor and uh, for these uh, stopped counts where uh, uh, scalars that we produce uh, would uh, have a well, universal distribution and uh, as such the geometric factor will be by order or even more uh, worse uh, because a much uh, less a fraction of this uh, scholars would uh, fly in the direction of the detector without the well, Lorentz uh, boost. Uh, and um, so we can see that uh, well, uh, quite a big fraction of, of these uh, uh, scholars fly towards the detector, especially fr from the ones that are uh, produced in the counts that decay in the decay tunnel. And after that, uh, wave pretty freely uh, travel this uh, distance and then uh, decay. They decay uh, through several main modes. We omit here the uh, photon mode, which is irrelevant uh, once uh, other modes uh, become um, accessible. And uh, so uh, the probability is pretty st uh, straightforward. Uh, we just uh, need for that. Uh, uh, scalar to not decay before it reached our detector and decay while it is in our, our detector. Uh, that is represented on this uh, 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 formula here. Uh, 
So um, we can pretty uh, much simulate uh, the branchings and uh, the lifetime of our scalars, uh, which is shown here. Uh, uh, coincidentally, the uh, t time uh, <clears throat> lifetime of the scalars uh, is also a, uh, can give us the critical value of mixing uh, that uh, uh, for, for our experiment. That means that uh, C, uh, the uh, uh, speed of light times uh, tau phi uh, equals the distance from target to the um, uh, detector. So it is a rough estimate of uh, which uh, at which point the uh, scalars uh, become more uh, likely to decay before they reach the detector. Uh, so we uh, don't uh, have any restrictions on areas above this uh, red line. And uh, well, uh, finally, there is a detection. Uh, the detection in uh, the PS191 uh, was a, tr a tracker. Uh, which was uh, the, the, on the back side where was a, a electrical colorimeter with a holoscope. And um, to re reconstruct the event, uh, we need all that uh, we, our, well, in our case, a light scar decays in, uh, in, and its uh, daughter particles uh, are, enter with colorimeter and holoscope. So we applied this restriction and uh, we obtained our uh, estimation for the number of these uh, scalars that reach the detector which, and decay in there, which uh, was well, pretty solid. This uh, here is a figure for uh, theta equal to 10 to the power of uh, minus 8, uh, t squared. And uh, we also uh, can conclude that uh, uh, we can almost neglect the contribution of uh, uh, damp and soil. Well, not really neglect, but the, uh, actually not the leading order at least. So uh, if we uh, study uh, the uh, decay in target, uh, we pretty much uh, have the general idea. Uh, so. Uh, we uh, uh, <coughs> compared our results with, uh, with uh, the results given by well, NA62 collaboration, uh, the same uh, graph that was uh, shown in the last talk, uh, coincidentally. And um, we are pretty glad to find that uh, this uh, restriction is pretty solid and can uh, <coughs> Restrain uh, 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 not uh, yet uh, restrained area of uh, uh, parameters. Uh, for, well, the uh, two hundred to three hundred, uh, coincidentally, uh, at the level of well, several times ten minus. Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> 10 minus 7, 10 minus 6, and uh, also the area of uh, 10 uh, to um, minus 9, 10 to minus 8 uh, in the area above uh, the uh, masses uh, 210 uh, mV. Uh, so uh, it is a pretty solid result. Uh, which uh, uh, what uh, we shall uh, also say about this uh, that well uh, of course our analysis can be uh, extended to other models um, other couplings and so forth but that uh, uh, in uh, uh, well connotation of the PS191 we also uh, has power refinements. Uh, for example, uh, we didn't uh, uh, strictly uh, study the magnetic fields which were there, and there were uh, uh, two modes in this experiment. One was with the result horns uh, working, and the other with them. 
uh, where without horns was uh, the statistics of uh, 0.3 uh, times uh, uh, 10 to 19, and uh, the full statistics was uh, 0.86. So, f factor of several, pretty uh, uh, good uh, uh, if we uh, can uh, further study it. But our results are conservative because we uh, omitted uh, the uh, uh, we omitted the uh, extra, uh, let's say, uh, uh, statistics uh, for uh, ne ne uh, negative charge counts uh, because for them we used only 0 0.03, uh, 0 0.3. And uh, for others, we used the full statistics. So, uh, of course, our statistics for uh, charged, uh, positively charged counts would be enhanced and we would get a better result. Uh, other point, uh, we didn't consider the uh, K0S. Uh, it was, well, uh, because of its much less uh, lifetime and uh, con uh, through its contribution, um, we can consider that. Uh, but uh, we decided that our uh, study is pretty solid as it is. And uh, uh, any further refinements can be put off for the next uh, work. Well, that was pretty much it. Thank you for your attention. I think I was done <laughs> rather early. So we have uh, time for questions. Thank you very much for your talk, Igor. Questions, please. Mm, hi, I'm Fado from Perugia. So I have two questions. So the first question is, uh, uh, did you consider the scale of production in B plus B case? And uh, the second question is, uh, uh, what are the uh, reconstruction efficiencies uh, for each uh, decay channel of uh, the light scalar that you put into your uh, calculations of the upper limits? Uh, well, uh, first of all, about the uh, decays of uh, pions, uh, right? Uh, 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 well, we didn't consider it uh, because uh, uh, it is a further study, for one thing, and you can see that our restrictions uh, on, for lower masses are already, well, in the region that was uh, already uh, restricted, which is pretty uh, understandable. And uh, we uh, did, don't really consider that uh, part. Uh, well, uh, well uh, we don't uh, think that uh, this will be uh, uh, will give us new insight. Uh, how how the current uh, limits are already pretty solid. Uh, and uh, the. Uh, second question was uh, about, uh, can you repeat it, please? Uh, yes, uh, the second question was uh, about the reconstruction efficiencies. Uh, ah, yeah, the efficiencies. Uh, so, uh, about uh, the efficiencies, of, uh, since uh, we have uh, the zero uh, negative result, there was no observation of uh, any uh, 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 any uh, s signal, and uh, we can see, uh, of course, omitted the invisible uh, channels, such as uh, uh, the decay of scalar into two uh, 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 neutral pions. Uh, we only studied the uh, uh, decays into the charged pions and uh, the leptons. Uh, as our signals, and they uh, completely coincide with uh, the same uh, signal uh, for stereo neutrinos that was co considered in PS191. So, uh, if there was uh, some uh, uh, signal, uh, we would have to re. Uh, visit these uh, results and uh, study how uh, uh, efficiency of all 
the light scars uh, correlates to the efficiency to the sterile neutrinos, but since there is no results, well, the efficiencies are well, not so relevant. There's no results, so we study only that uh, there should be uh, 2.3 results for 95 credibility. And well, yes. Okay, as other, other questions, comments? Thank you. Uh, let, let, let me comment then. Uh, uh, you see, uh, the, 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 uh, the signal signature here is the same as in the original paper by PS191. Uh, okay. And they are, as, uh, if, if you look at the paper, they assume the uh, efficiency of order one. Okay. And in this way, they obtain their limit. So we follow their procedure exactly here. And uh, that was one of the points of this study that we have exactly the same, the same uh, signal. And so as they studied their detectors, their uh, decay channels and understood they are as uh, very efficient. So we, 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 follow the, we follow the same procedure and obtain the same, I mean, I mean uh, the, use the same efficiency, okay? Okay, so it's, it's both for um, the hadronic channel and both for leptonic channels, right? Yes. I mean, the efficiency is close to one. Yes. Uh -huh, okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. other questions, comments? For you guys? And uh, uh, let me comment also on the pions, okay? Of course, uh, we, we can go to, to, to pions. Uh, however, uh, if in this uh, particular model we, which we are interested in, uh, where we have only mixing between, it's a very simple model. Okay, you can, you can I mean, uh, there are uh, various uh, models of light scholars on the market. And here is a very simple model where we have only mixing between the scholar and, and, and the Higgs. And in this way, you produce this color and in this way it decays. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, the pion, the branching of the pion decaying into scholar, uh, some factor of 1,000 uh, lower than the branching of counts, okay? So to gain something new, uh, well, something, I, I mean, on top of the uh, count production, uh, you need a factor of a uh, thousand more pions in your, well, I mean, in, at, at, the, at, at the target, okay? Okay. Any other comments? No. So thank you very much, Igor, again. And thank you. Yeah, I would like to thank all speakers uh, of this uh, session for very interesting talks and all participants for interesting discussion questions.